hi lovelies welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing well if you are new here welcome and if you are returning welcome back today i have the entire madame glam's august collection to swatch for you guys this is the academy collection it consists of 10 soak off sparkly gel polishes and i will be swatching and creating a nail art design using this collection however i'm not exactly sure what design i will be creating today i do need to swatch these out first and speaking of swatch i am going to be swatching these out using my clear pop sticks so that way we can see how opaque or how transparent these colors actually swatch but before we go any further let me give a shout out to my notification squad thank you guys so much for being the first three people to get in and drop a comment on my last video and if you're ready and excited to see how i came up with today's design then let's go Before I start the nail art design, I will be swatching these colors out first. So check the description box below if you're interested in the timestamp to take you straight to the tutorial. But for now, let's get into the swatches, sit back, relax, grab yourself a snack, some tea, a coffee, whichever one you prefer and enjoy.
so one thing i do want to let you guys know is that the consistency of these gel polishes are on the thicker side because of the amount of glitter that is packed inside of it however they are self-leveling like all the other madame glam gel polishes but they do cure nice and flat however it's a little bit on the textured side so i'm shining my light on this swatch and as you guys can see they are not nice and smooth they're sort of like zigzagged so you can see the texture in the gel but once you go over them with the gel top coat or base coat or even the matte top coat, it is going to smoothen that gel polish right out. So there's no need to go in and buff it smooth before you apply your top coat. I am applying the Madame Glam's No Wipe Gel Top Coat. And as you guys can see, the zigzag effect has disappeared. Those lines are nice and smooth. And that is it. You just pop it into the light and give it a cure and you're ready to go. So here are all 10 colors swatched and absolutely beautiful. I love that reflective holographic source of glitter inside of these colors. Tell me in the comment section below which one of these colors are your favorites. I honestly thought these two colors right here would have swatched a little more on the translucent side. But after applying the gel polish and curing, they did cure more opaque. And I'm absolutely loving this pink. It's called Daydream. And it just reminds me of like a baby shower pink. As for that clear, it is going to apply over any cream gel polish and it's going to give it a very nice glittery iridescent effect. As for all the other colors, it did swatch sort of jelly-like with the holographic glitter on the inside. And if you're interested in any of these colors, definitely check out the Madame Glam link in the description box below, as well as my 30% off coupon code. And once you click on that link, you enter my discount code at checkout, and that is the only way it is going to work. You have to use the link. You also have another purchase option where you can sign up for the Madame Glam's VIP program, and that gives you 50% off all gel polishes every month it's a monthly subscription if you're interested in growing your gel polish collection then i will definitely suggest taking that opportunity and signing up for the vip program so let us finally get started with the nail art design because i didn't want this video to be way longer than it already is i already prepped my practice hand and i'm starting with the jc beauty concepts colored acrylic powder this is number 15 and i'm going to be doing a v-shaped smile line now I'm just working this color past the natural nail tip underneath and I'm patting it in place making sure there are no harsh lines towards the cuticle area. I am not going to be shaping with my brush or anything like that. I'm taking my carving knife. I did dip it in the same pink acrylic powder and I'm going to use this to cut out that V shape. Now I probably should have waited for this to set up a little bit more but it was late and I honestly did not know what design I was going to create for you guys. So this was just me making this design up as we go along. And I absolutely love how this design turned out. I am going to be doing a hybrid nail, which is going to be a mix of the Madame Glam gel polishes that I just swatched for you guys and JC Beauty Concepts acrylic system. I like to show you guys versatility when it comes to having your gel polishes. You don't always need to just put them on top of the nail you can get creative and mix them in between the acrylic like sandwich them in just get creative and think outside of the box when it comes to creating your possibilities are endless so i'm placing my cuticle bead now i did press it and work it up into the cuticle area and i'm taking the excess acrylic and pulling it to meet the v-shape that we made previously if that v-shape french line isn't as crisp as you would like it to be you can take your hand file and go ahead and sharpen that area up i'm just using my brush to push it into place even more because the acrylic is still moldable but for the most part the carving knife did do an amazing job so i'm not going to do that with this so i am taking is that clear by madame glam and i'm placing it to the tip of this nail and then i am going in with this glitter purple and this one is called rumor has it and i'm going to be using this to define that smile line area now whenever you are doing a french whether it be a regular french or v-shaped french if you want to give that area more definition start with 
a darker color this is going to sharpen up that area and it's just going to look so nice and clean so after placing down this color I am going to take the same brush that I'm using and I'm going to ombre these two colors together when I'm happy with the way that it looks I remove any excess gel from on the tip of the nail then I'm going to go ahead and flash cure this for 15 seconds and I'm repeating the exact same steps on her index finger
both nails are now fully cured and because it's gel I do have to remove that tacky layer before I place acrylic on top and just to prevent any lint or dust from getting on top of that gel polish I am going to encapsulate these two nails before I move on. So on the other two nails, I do want to coat the entire nail with rumor hazard, but I don't want to put it at the surface of the nails. So I'm taking a clear bead of my acrylic and I'm placing it on the nail bed and I'm blending it into the nail tip. This is going to eliminate that line that the nail tip causes on the nail bed. So when I go and apply the gel polish on top of this layer, it's not going to settle in the crease of the nail tip so i'm just making sure that everything is nice and smooth as you guys can see i did constantly keep passing my brush over the clay acrylic and it created some little gridges in that acrylic and that is just going to help the gel polish to hold to it so i'm taking rumor hazards and i'm going to be coating the entire nail i did do three coats of this and i cured in between each coat for 30 seconds the reason why i did three coats is because i wanted that really dark vampy look so you can get away with two coats, it's absolutely stunning with two. It's all about personal preference and because these colors are buildable, once you keep your layers nice and thin, you can get away with any look that you have in mind. Even if you wanted to mix this with black to make it darker, then by all means mix it with black. If you want to mix it with white to make it lighter, a little more opaque. As I said before, your possibilities with creating are endless. And one thing I love about Madame Glam gel polishes are you can mix them freely together and have absolutely no separation, no pigmentation, like no problems at all. So as you guys notice, with my first coat, I did not go all the way to the cuticle area. However, on the third coat, I did go towards that cuticle. Because I'm going to be encapsulating this gel polish, I don't want my cuticle area to be too thick. So I like to do one layer to the cuticle area, even though I'm doing the three coats on the entire nail. And I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same steps on this nail. If you are still with me, go ahead and drop me a purple heart with your comments in the comment section below. And if you're not yet subscribed, please take a minute to click on that subscribe button. Help the channel get to 50K. We are almost there. I love and appreciate you guys so, so much. And if you don't already have your post notifications on, click
Concepts Clear Acrylic Powder and I'm going to be encapsulating the purple nails. I would have a list of all the JC Beauty products that I used in this video listed in my description box below as well as my 15% off coupon code. You guys know I love JC Beauty and I absolutely love their clear acrylic. It is my favorite. It is actually the best clear acrylic that I've used to date and I've been doing nails since 2014. Use my coupon code and save yourself some cash at the same time. Remember, you do not need to have a minimum purchase when it comes to ordering off of JC Beauty's website. However, if you order $100 and over, you do get free domestic shipping. So you save yourself some money, plus you get free shipping. So this is what my acrylic application looks like before I file and this is what they look like now that they have been filed, shaped and buffed. I did do all of that off camera, I washed her hands and now I am taking these nail art butterfly stickers and I am going to be placing it on one side of that v-shaped French. On the purple nails, I'm just going to be placing three Swarovski crystals. I'm placing it to the cuticle area and then on the other one, I'm going to be placing it at the tip. I'm just going to be submerging them into the Madame Glam's No Wipe Gel Top Coat. I do recommend if you're doing this on a client or on yourself in order for it to last, I will suggest getting the McCart Rhinestone Glue. It is amazing. Your stones are not going to go anyway i have loved this product from the first time that i started using it i just don't want to waste it because i do need to import it and now our import taxes are crazy given the whole pandemic that is going on so i'm trying to save my stuff that i need to import for my clients only and because this is my practice hand there's no need for me to waste my gem gel but check out the link in my description box i do have a coupon code for the mccart website as well you save 15 percent off of your pre and to be honest with you guys that is it for this set all I'm left to do is continue to apply my no wipe gel top coat I did apply the same butterfly on the pinky nail as well I didn't record that part but it's the exact same placement as the index finger I'm going to cure these nails allow that gel polish to cool and apply my cuticle oil and I will have a clip of the final result at the end of the video to share with you guys as well as don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you learned something from it tell me what you think about this set and how it turned out in the comment section below if you recreate this set share it with me on instagram my instagram handle is at the glamorous nails it's also on your screen and the direct link is in my description if you have not done it as yet definitely go ahead and like share comment and subscribe and turn your post notifications on if they are not on so that you don't miss out whenever i post a new video so that is it for me i hope you are having an amazing day or night whatever time it is where you are right now as always, I would love for you guys to stay glamorous, be safe, and I'll see you soon.